Well, employees of the South African Social Security Agency, that's SASA, embarking on a countrywide shutdown starting today. Members of the Health and Allied Workers Union had been threatening to down tools, accusing SASA management of refusing to resolve challenges brought about by the migration of social grant payments from cash paymaster services to the South African Post Office. Now, these, they say, include the introduction of the biometric system. To tell us more, we're joined in studio by the union's Deputy General Secretary, December Mavuso. Good to have you, December. Thank you very, very much Thank for you. coming Thank in. You. Uh, the enrollment of the biometric payment system, it, it isn't the only reason that you've decided to embark on this national strike. Tell us a little bit more of your concerns. Well, thank you, Leanne. I must say that we're dealing with um, both historical issues, uh, but also the new issues uh, or challenges imposed by the migration of the social grant payment from uh, CPS to, to SAPO. Uh, since 2014, we've been uh, in discussion with uh, uh, SASA about the challenges uh, of, uh, that uh, faces our members regarding the social pension system. Uh, they call it SOCPEN, which uh, is vulnerable to fraud, uh, hacking, um, and then our, users, our members' users' ID and PIN codes will be used to do transactions that they, not, they don't know. And it, often it happens in the evening. And members will get arrested um, and, and uh, uh, subjected to discipline and dismissed. So it's an issue that we've been, we've been trying to deal with. Uh, late last year, we then agreed that they will introduce biometric um, enrollment uh, for, for SASA employees and management yeah. to deal with this security issue uh, to protect the employees. In March this year, they said they were going to run a training for, the, for staff and management. When they organize a training, workers... When they arrived uh, at the training, they realized that the training was a different training altogether. It was for biometric enrollment for beneficiaries, something that was never discussed with anyone. There was no consultation. So everybody was, was taken by surprise. Mm. They then decided in April to introduce it, to install the equipments in the computers of uh, employees without any discussion, um, uh, 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 meaning they imposed the, the, the system. Yeah. So we've been discussing that matter, and there was a dispute. We, since April, May, we, we've been sitting with a, a certificate uh, of strike because of all these issues. But we thought that let's not disrupt or deepen the crisis that was there already, because you would realize that uh, you know that SASA mishandled the, the migration process, uh, you know, from CPS to 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 SAPO until today. So, in fr from from July. We then asked the Minister of Social Development to intervene. We had meetings on the 10th of July. Sasa was brought in, and the subsequent to that, we had two meetings with Sasa to try and say, but you can't impose this thing to workers because, firstly, it affects their condition of service, but most importantly, the system affects the grant beneficiaries. Yeah. It is a uh, challenges which I, I'll, I'll talk to. Uh, but, uh, first, talk to me about how, how are the... How are your, your members affected by this? I mean, what, what is it that they need? So they haven't been trained in it. Is that the biggest problem? Firstly, this was a function that was performed by CPS employees. Okay. Firstly. So when <coughs> it was brought, SASA decided to take over the biometric enrollment, which was done by CPS employees. They were supposed to consult with, the, with members to say, this is now going to be a new function they're going to perform. Train them because they, they never performed the function, but indicate how that is going to affect their conditions of service. And, and we had called for a job evaluation so that we see if the remuneration is, 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 is equal to the job that they, you know, they, they, they are going to perform, the new yes. function that they're going to perform. So SAS has been refusing to do that. Um, that's how, it, so it means there's a change in terms of condition of mem our four members, but SASA doesn't want to address that. Okay. Now, you have gone on a strike before. Um, and that really did have serious repercussions on, on the beneficiaries of the social grants. How far are you going to take it this time? As I say, since April, May, we've been sitting with a certificate of strike. Indeed, we did not want to yeah. strike. Yeah. Uh, hence, we went to the minister. Hence, we've been trying to talk uh, to Sasa. We wanted to prevent uh, this. But why put in the position where our members uh, can't take it anymore? Because... 
in a, a in the process of forcing workers to do this function sasa has decided to discipline and charge members even when members indicate we can't do this we don't know this this, this system it is not part of our job description but the worst thing that the SASA acting CEO did some three weeks ago, when uh, after we've raised the technical problems with the system, because that also affects our members in terms of ensuring they give the service to the beneficiaries. Yeah. And we said there are technical problems that needs to be, because you rushed the system, you were not prepared, there are technical issues that needs to be addressed. Um, and instead of accepting that, Later on, subsequent to our meeting on the 16th of September, he wrote a letter to SASA uh, offices to say, workers who are having difficulty uh, using the system must bypass the system. Meaning, workers must commit fraud. Because if you bypass the system, it means that... Uh, you said you must bypass the system. Is the acting CEO of SASA in writing to all SASA of offices. He, says, he must bypass the system. And this, is, this, is not, this is illegal. You shouldn't be doing that. Yes. So our members are, are made to be complicit to fraud. And that's what we are actually saying. We can agree to that. Right? So you're asking, what would you like? I mean, let's, let, let's just be blatant here. You, you're asking for something as simple as training on the system. That's what you want. Training on the system for your members. Firstly, we say put the system on hold. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, address, let's address the technical glitches that are there. Because firstly, not all SASA offices are having the, the equipments to do the biometric enrollment. Yeah. Secondly, the, the, the system frequently rejects fingerprints of uh, grant beneficiaries, something they're not telling the, the public. Right? And if your fingerprint uh, is rejected, so it means you can't be enrolled. And if you can't be enrolled, you can't go to the next stage of uh, support taking you on board for purpose of uh, card mm -hmm. issuing and payment. So you, uh, secondly, there's a problem with Home Affairs Honey system. So sometimes it is not, it can't confirm, you know, that whether you're a South African, whether you, are, you, you qualify for, to be enrolled as a grant beneficiary and so on. Yet they tell people that they, 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 their system is linked to Honey's system of Home Affairs. Mm -hmm. So we're saying put that on hold. Um, and let's address these issues. Once we, we, we have addressed the technology, to train the staff, let's do job evaluation. Job evaluation you can do once people are performing the function. But as long as the technical problems are sorted out, the grant beneficiaries are not turned back. Because the frustration that our members face is that is to turn back all people, is to turn back uh, the, the vulnerable uh, section of, of our society. Indeed. You know? So that's, it's, it's not just about our members. It's, it's not a selfish uh, you know, uh, exercise for us, but it's also caring for these uh, grant beneficiaries. All right. Yes. So until those demands are met, your members are going to embark on this shutdown nationwide strike. It starts today? Uh, it has started today. We yeah. just got reports, uh, for instance, in Mafeking, in Northwest, 70% of the workers are out of strike. Uh, the leadership of the union is out uh, in the whole country. But I must also indicate that uh, the minister yesterday has approached us uh, and requested uh, to intervene. We're meeting with, with her and Sasa at 2 o'clock today. At 2 o'clock today. So yeah. we should get an update on the situation. Yes. But as it stands right now, there is that nation, national nationwide s shutdown from SASA employees that are embarking on this, uh, and they're also members of Nehau, also threatening to down tools. Any update on that? Uh, I know we're in news time, but this is an important question. Uh, all our members, the country, what? Uh, one are embarking yes. on this as well. All right. Yes. Thanks for joining us here on the program. Deputy General Secretary December Mavusa talking to us on this uh, strike with uh, SASA workers. All right. Let us get to your news now.